Hi there, I'm James Williams from Glamour, and I'm very excited today to be invited around to the kitchen of um, lifestyle blogger and YouTube sensation, Naomi Smart. Hello, Naomi. Hi. Hi. First of all, thanks for having us around. Not at all. Thanks um, for coming. Very exciting time for you because yeah. your debut cookbook, mm-hmm. Eat Smart, yeah. is out right now. Yes. Yeah. How excited are you? So excited. It's just been like the most amazing experience and I can't believe it's finally here. (laughs) Tell us a bit about how it came to be and also for those people who are not one of your 1.7 million um, (laughs) YouTube subscribers and Instagram followers, explain a little bit about, you know, your history and your story and also how this book came to be and what your general philosophy is with approach to healthy eating and lifestyle. About four years ago, I decided to just start eating a lot healthily and it was all about not restricting my diet and going on some kind of fad diet or anything it was just about introducing more fresh foods like fruit and vegetables more whole grains and then eventually that led to a fully plant-based diet and it was never like a negative thing like oh I can't have this anymore I've got to you know stick to this diet it was such an exciting positive transition Um, and that's when I just started creating all my own recipes and I started writing them all down and that's when the book came about. And this is it. And we're actually going to make one of the recipes from the yes. book. And I have to yep. say, it looks amazing. It's yep. squashetti and meatballs. Yeah. Uh, I'm very excited to try this. So shall we just crack let's on and get on with it? Yeah, let's do it. So we're going to start off by making the meatballs. They're not like normal meatballs as you know them. They're obviously vegan meatballs. So they're made from lentils, walnuts, beans. So yeah, we're gonna start with that. And first of all, we just need to start frying the onions. So I'm going to start dicing that. What was it then that made you really have this sort of light bulb moment when you really thought, oh, actually, I really do care about what I'm putting into my body and I wanna think about it a bit more and actually start experimenting and having fun with food? Yeah, I think I started just thinking about being a bit healthy. I was going to the gym and got really into it, absolutely loved it. And then I slowly started incorporating more like healthy foods into my diet. It was when I did a lot of research online about the plant-based diet because it was it just kept coming up. I kept reading mm. about it, and I thought, Do you know what? I can't really knock anything until I try it myself. Yeah. So we're just going to fry off the onion. Just going to chop up those apricots as well. So I just roughly chop them up, and I'm also going to add a garlic clove into there with the onion. This is, by the way, like my favourite gadget as well. Just garlic crusher. It's really? just so much easier. So I'm just going to add those walnuts to the food processor. And blitz them. And then literally just add the remaining ingredients. So I've got those cooked lentils there. And then the onion and garlic that we fried. So this is just half of that onion. And then I'm also adding half a tin of black beans, two tablespoons of buckwheat flour, and I'm also going to add a teaspoon of dried basil and a teaspoon of dried oregano. I just love herbs and Mm. spices and everything. That's one thing in my book, I just love it. And then we're just going to blend that all together. And then that's when I'm just going to stir in the remaining diced onion that we have and also the apricots. I'm going to do it in a bowl. It's nice to have that hint of sweetness from the apricots. It just adds a whole other kind of dimension to the meatballs. Sometimes this is just best to get your hand in there. I was right going to say, I'd be tempted to get my yeah, hand I in do. there. Don't judge me. <laughs> Putting some greaseproof paper on a baking tray and then you literally just mould this into meatballs. Okay, so there's our meatballs. I'm just going to put them in the oven. They'll be in there for about 30 minutes. Butternut squash can be a bit of a bugger to cut, I find. Is it there a... can be. It can be <laughs> so hard. It's such like a solid vegetable, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is for the squashetti now. So I'm just going to peel both of those um, and then you just cut them in half and literally just use this spiralizer. They're going to go in the oven for the last 10 minutes that the meatballs are in. So I'm just going to add those squashetti straight into a baking tray and I'm just going to drizzle over some olive oil 
and then they go in the oven for 10 minutes. So while that is all in the oven, um, I'm just going to heat up some tomato sauce. I made this earlier, but it's so simple. It's literally vine ripe tomatoes with some onion, garlic, basil, so, so simple. And you just simmer it for about 15 minutes. Um, and then I just blitz it in my Nutrivilla. So simple, so I'm just going to heat that up now. Squash out the oven. So this has been cooking away for 10 minutes. Yeah. Looking good. Yeah, looks amazing. There we go. And then I've got the sauce here bubbling away. So I'm just going to pour that over. And then the main star of the show, we've got the meatballs. Finish that off with some fresh basil. And I also like to sprinkle over some nutritional yeast. This is like totally optional. You don't have to have this. So there we have it. Naomi, your delicious take on um, squashetti and meatballs. <laughs> yeah. um, thanks so much for having us around. It looks absolutely delicious. No, thank you um, for coming. So do try out this recipe. And if you want to check out other recipes from Naomi, you can um, grab the new issue of Glamour magazine, which is on shelves right now. Naomi, thank you so much. No, thank you. Let's go and tuck into this yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> For more fun videos from Glamour, click down here to subscribe.